What is happening, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Legion of Titan, man. I was actually getting into this game, and I actually, I'm going to co-sign on this game, guys. I want to actually keep this on our rotation, so if you guys agree with me, make sure you put that in the comments that you want it on a rotation. Ro rotate, please. Something like that, and we'll go with that. But yeah, this, is, this game is pretty much like Titan Throne, but honestly, this is way better than Titan Throne. The reason why it's like Titan Throne is because of the characters. They're almost pretty much the exact identical, but it's not the exact same. All right, so we've been doing some serious upgrades right now. We only made it to Castle 6, uh, but that's fine. We're just getting all the little doodads and all the knick-knack, paddywhacks, give it all a bone. We're getting all those upgrades going right now. All right, so now we're going to go Castle 7. So that's what I'm focused on right now. And I've been getting my barracks up. Because once you get your barracks up, that's when you start getting stronger um, troops. Now, if I get the barracks up to 7, that's when I'm going to unlock the Advanced Mage, which is Tier 3, Advanced Guard, uh, Superior Gunner, and a mounted knight. So definitely want to make sure we get this uh, seven going ASAP Rocky. So yeah, we're going seven right now on that. And then we'll get our barracks up to seven. Both of them will get them to seven. And then we'll have tier three troops. And then we'll have super powerful units. And then we can be able to take almost pretty much anybody. All right. So yeah, it's, that's how it's going to go, guys. So when you do your upgrades, you want to make sure that you always upgrade your castle because you have to upgrade your castle. You can't upgrade anything else until your castle levels up to a certain point. Then after that, you're going to knock out your wall. And then after that, you're going to knock out your barracks. And you can just you can do that all the way through, guys. Unless you're doing like certain uh, one of your recommended quests, which is on the bottom left here, right above the chat box. Then you're going to do those those ones upgrades right there. But just keep in mind, guys, castle, wall, barracks. Those are like the three most important deals that you have right now. Besides the, uh, the college as well. Like, you can't forget the college. And my college is level six. And I got two builders going, guys. Like, that's standard. I'm going to go with two builders at all times, as much as I can possibly can handle. All right? So what really confuses me is the college because I don't know if I should go resources, development, or military. It's like I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Now, I went ahead and went military. I got the rapid march, uh, cavalry attack, which is okay. But I wanted to get the commander um, one up but i really want i want to go all the way to legion and the reason i want to go legion one is because it gives me an extra marching queue so now i have two marching queues instead of just sending out one but you have to make sure you balance out your troops as well so you can't just say oh let me go ahead and get this extra march and you don't have the troops to support it and it's not going to do any good for you all right so what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and make some more troops now i want to see if i have like i want to is there, where can i see all of my troops that's what i'm wondering and we have a whole bunch of these little plots opened up right now that we're not really using, but we will be using them pretty soon, guys. All right, so I'm just I'm I'm enjoying this game, honestly. All right, so we have the infantry, cavalry, marksmen, and mages. All right, so if you don't know what troop does what and which one you should be making more of, you can always read the description. All right, so with the infantry, of course, it reduces damage from mages by 25%. All right, and then it just tells you how much it costs <clears throat> to make them as far as resources go, like as far as the lumber. As far as the gold and as far as the the iron okay so i haven't unlocked the tier three yet but we will that's what they look like and then we'll have tier four which looks like wow i don't know why they took the armor off and then they put them on every other level has armor and every other level does not that's weird and we can go all the way up to tier 10 guys oh my god look at these tier 10s man tier nines and tier 10s are like beasts wow let me get the cavalry tier 10 he looks like a little pansy right now all right this is I'm, i see him look at him that's tier nine this is tier 10. i think i like the tier nine better honestly and we got the marksman tier nine not bad and then the tier 10 looks yeah it looks kind of weak to me i like the tier nine i think i'm a fan of the tier nine so far so the mages tier nine yeah they look like world of warcraft mages almost yeah tier nine looks better to me guys simple as that all right so let's go back into our barracks all right, so I don't see, I would like to see how many I actually have. So army size is 1,500. Oh, so there we go. So I guess we have 1,500 uh, infantry units right now. We have 900 cavalry units, but I, I guess it tells our, our power too. So 900 of those. Oh, we don't have any marksmen? Okay, so we'll just make some marksmen, guys. We don't have any. So let's go ahead and cook some of those guys up right now. And I wish we could switch between the barracks. That would be nice instead of having to go um, out of the, the deal here. They should do that. They should fix that. 
I guess I'll have to make that suggestion. So we're gonna make a few archers here, or marks, marksmen, actually. And it's an hour, 22 minutes to cook them up. So we're gonna go ahead and get those guys made up right now. And then we can um, have our diverse, uh, diverse utility in our troops. All right, so going back to technology, guys, this is like hands down the most important thing you're gonna do because it makes your troops stronger. You know, you don't wanna go into battle with like weak troops, but you don't wanna also gimp your base as far as resources either, guys. So if you're starting out, I'd highly recommend doing resources because I mean, if you if you go military, which is fine, you can go ahead and plunder bases, but you won't have those resources readily available that you can actually um, take out the bases. So you wanna make sure that you go resources first and then start, you know, in development also, and then start easing your way into military. I wanna get two, two marches because I wanna send out two marches to different nodes whenever I do farm for resources, then I could do it that way. So that's what works for me. I don't really care about cavalry hit points, infantry hit points, marksman, mage, HP, and all that stuff right now, not yet. Let me have commander, max marching troops. You definitely wanna make sure, you, you also wanna make sure you have your, your marks, uh, marching, max marching troops up as well. So definitely wanna go with uh, technology. But right now we're gonna go with resources and development, but we're gonna go look at development first. And architecture is gonna be construction speed, which can be faster for your your uh, your construction. We have police, which is gonna be attack monster speed. So if we're attacking monsters constantly, which is good because you do plunder resources that way, then you're gonna be fine. Technology is stamina recovery, which is good too. If you guys are fighting monsters on a you know regular basis, it's good. But research speed is good too. So let's go ahead and upgrade this one, 36 minutes. And then we're gonna be flip-flopping back and forth between university and architecture, university, architecture, university, architecture. And then we'll go back to resources and then we'll start doing like circular saw and then um, pickaxe back and forth from those as well. And then we're gonna go, when we get those unlocked to, we can do coinage, market tax amount, not worry about that one. We want load, because we wanna make sure our troop load is gonna be increased. So every time we go out and farm, you want to make sure that you can take up enough resources. You don't want to go there and just get 100 resources when you can get 1,000 resources. You know what I mean? That's just an example, guys. So you want to make sure that you can do that also. But I, I am actually enjoying this game. It's, a, it's, a, it's laid back right now. It's not really, you know, too much. Um, it's not like, oh, my God. But, you know, I, I got I got, um, I got attack once or scouted out once. This guy was scouting me out. He was watching me. All kind of stuff. I scouted him back, and he was like, "What?" I was like, "You mad? You gonna scout me? I'm gonna scout you back. I'm not a dead base. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not gonna be your resource mule. Basically, is what I'm trying to let him know." And I joined this really, 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 really cool alliance, guys. These guys are freaking amazing. It's uh, Titans of War, guys. T O W. We only have like two slots left, guys. But if we have some dead people in the in the alliance, I'm sure they're gonna get kicked. I'm sure. So if you guys are looking for an alliance, uh, let me see, tap one tap donation. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one tap donation. That's so much faster. Look at that. But I don't see where we can do like recommended. Um, oh, we just passed it up. It's on the very top. So alliance expansion, that's what we want. Dang, I put the, the stuff in the wrong spot. They should make like a little star so you know which one that the uh, the recommended one from the alliance. But we have some people that are actually, I mean, they are very um, active. Where's the alliance oh, that? Oh, that's not the people. Where's the members? Here we go. And you can see when everybody logs on the last time. So four hours ago, that's the, the alliance leader, which is a really cool guy. Lord CB. He's the best, man. All right. So we got those guys been on within four hours. Uh, of course, it's nighttime. So everyone's asleep. This one's eight hours. That's the longest nine hours there. Then two hours and below. So it's, it works out one hour, two hours, seven hours. So these guys are pretty active, guys. Pretty active. Look at that guy right there on the top. Small power, but I'm getting there. I'm a getting there, guys. I'm a getting there. So we got one person to help so far. So as far as help timers go, uh, we have 12. So we have we can have 12 people out of the 30 something that are in the alliance that can help us out with our, our uh, help timers. Which that's a very recommended thing to do is join an alliance. Now to get that up, you have to get your what is it? The tavern? No. Embassy? I don't know what they call it in this game. I think it's embassy. I don't even know where it's at because they don't have the names. Uh, I'm not used to the names on this thing yet, so it's fine. But either way, it's the embassy. Oh, here it is. You want to make sure your embassy goes up as high as you can get it, like max level. You want to max that out too as far as help timers because if you have like a real powerful alliance that's always on, there you go. You're going to grow so fast, guys. Like it's not going to be anybody's business. 
Now, of course, you can use speed ups and spend whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do, guys. You can spend. It's fine. I haven't spent anything yet in this game. Do I plan on it? I don't know. Honestly, just don't know. I'm not opposed to it, but, you know. And then also we have our, our alliance quest. That's one other thing you want to make sure you join as well, because if you're not in an alliance, you can't do this part. And you don't get those resources. So we're going to do this 30-minute one. And then that's the resources we can get. We get wood, alliance honor, lord prestige, and gold. We're going to go over each one of those little deals in a separate video, guys. All right, so that's what we want to do. I'm all down for putting this on the main rotation, guys. What about you guys? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Put those in the comments down below, and we'll try to accommodate as much as we humanly possibly can, guys, because, yeah, this game is that cool to me. And it's also in landscape, so, yeah, you know it's cool. And it kind of, like, takes over for where like, uh, Titanfall left over. Uh, not Titanfall. <laughs> um, whatever that game is. I forget now. It takes over where that one left off. Oh, no. We gotta upgrade our barracks. But you know what? We can also upgrade our hospital. And there's no other plots that we can build either right now. So I can't really build something else. But we can always upgrade other things. So definitely want to make sure our hospital capacity is up to par. It's only 15 minutes to get that thing up. But I'm thinking this is like going to start taking to like the number, number three spot in all the games that I play. Number three. It's that cool, guys. It's that cool. Okay. So LOT is cool with me. I think we're up to level nine. Yeah, we're up to level nine monsters. So we're going to start killing some level nines back and forth. You want to make sure that you expend all of your power, guys. And then you start going out for resource nodes and start, you know, doing whatever you have to do. But it's going to work out fine. I don't know if this is gold. Oh, it's a dragon's lair. So that's what you rally against with your alliance members. So, yeah, we're going to keep on attacking these monsters, guys, and keep making our, our troops as strong as possible. After we get that um, castle up to level six or seven, we're going to get our barracks up next. We'll do our walls too, but we're going to knock out our, our, our barracks because we got to get those barracks up to level uh, seven so we can get those tier three units, guys. Hands down, we'll be powerful. So, that guy that was picking on me earlier, I'm going to come back with that guy with a vengeance. And I'm pretty sure he's watching the video, and I hope he is. That's fine. Can you grow faster than me? I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But yeah, definitely, if you guys enjoy this episode, guys, please show some love on it by throwing some likes on the video. Definitely will appreciate that. And if this is your first time joining us here on the channel, guys, Swill Entertainment Gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe. And that way, and also make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you will be notified every time that we post a video on the channel, guys. Always. Always Coca-Cola. All right, so Honor Temple needs to get leveled up too, but there's so much stuff you have to get. You have to get Guardian Swords. I need uh, seven more of those, and we can do that. I mean, five. I'm sorry. My math is horrible today. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.